Hi, welcome to Bakes and Blenders. I'm Colleen. This is Missing Note today, my assistant. We're gonna be making my favorite chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna kind of play around a little bit and make some different flavors, some with walnuts, some with sprinkles and Nutella. How exciting is that? I think he's thrilled. It was his idea, well, our idea. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to be creaming our butter and our sugars. We're gonna mix on low because we're not trying to incorporate air into the recipe. We're just trying to get a nice, smooth texture. So that's my butter. And here I've got a mixture of brown sugar and plain white granulated sugar. The brown sugar is gonna give the cookies a lot of flavor, some nice caramel notes. I'm using dark brown sugar because I just have that open. Light brown sugar is fine too. I do find that my cookies get darker and more brown in the oven when I use the dark brown. So if that's a personal preference thing, keep that in mind. Okay, let's get mixing. Okay, and after a minute or two, you will have a nice, creamy, sugary, buttery mixture. It's delicious. Now we're going to add our vanilla and our egg. So we're doing a whole tablespoon of vanilla. I think it adds so much flavor to these cookies. There you go, missing now. and mix until just combined. Okay, so now let's get our dry ingredients together. I've got my flour right here, and in this little bowl, I've got salt, baking soda, and cornstarch. The cornstarch helps um, give it that nice chewy texture that I love. Okay, missing note, could you dump that in there? Perfect, thank you. We're just gonna whisk it to combine very gently. Okay, now we're going to add our dry ingredients to our butter mixture. Get it? Give it a tap on the bottom. Perfect. Okay, and again, mix on low, and you wanna mix until just barely combined. Okay, so there's still a few specks of flour, and I'm fine with that because we're going to mix in the chocolate chips, and that will combine it even further. Uh, this is even easier to make in a stand mixer, but I didn't feel like taking it out. Just making sure that's good. Okay, missing note. Can you please dump these gorgeous chocolate chips in there? Ah. All right, now we're gonna mix again, but Seriously, just until combined. Just a few seconds is all you need. Okay, now normally I would have also added the walnuts, toasted walnuts with that, yum. And then put the dough in the fridge to chill. But we're doing things a little bit different this time. We are gonna take missing out, now. that's right, missing now. We're gonna take out some of the cookie batter and put it into another bowl, and we're going to use those missing now. for a fun new flavor that Missing No and I came up with. We're gonna stuff those ones with Nutella and even add 
some sprinkles to make it fun. Okay. I don't want to miss out on any of this delicious cookie batter. Missing no showing you some of those sprinkles that we have. Okay, so I'm gonna take out about, I don't know. Let's see how much we're gonna take out. We'll do Okay, so we went ahead and took out, I don't know, maybe a third of the cookie batter. Um, and we're just gonna set that aside. So for now, before we got started, I toasted these walnuts, and you wanna toast until they're nice and golden, but don't let them go too far because they will easily burn. And we're just gonna, and my husband and I, we're the ones who eat the walnut ones. And we like the nice big chunks. Chop it up smaller if you like it smaller. Add that. and fold to combine. I mean, you could use your beaters, but you don't need to. Missing now is showing you his brand new Lego airplane. Yeah, you can make two airplanes with it. You can make two airplanes and um, a helicopter. Missing now, missing now. Now, most of you, if not all of you, might not know what missing no is. So let me just clue you in. Missing no, and missing no, correct me if I'm wrong, is actually a glitch that happens in the uh, Pokemon Game Boy game when they're, I don't know exactly how the glitch happens, but it stands for missing number. So when the Pokemon doesn't have a number, it turns into this glitchy thing and is called missing no. So Ben, you guys know Ben, he's my son. Ben thinks Missing No is pretty cool. And so now Missing No is my assistant. Okay, so I've got, there's a little bit of cookie dough better left, but I'm gonna see if I can use that with our other ones. So, I'm gonna go ahead and top our cookie dough now while it's still soft. I don't need that much. So to make your cookies look beautiful, show what's on the inside, and just give you an extra burst of flavor, um, I'm topping these with a few extra chocolate chips and walnut pieces because these ones are the walnut chocolate chip ones. Okay. This is optional, but I mean, who's gonna say no to more tasty goodness on your cookie? I'm not. Okay. 
These are gonna go in the freezer to chill. Okay, so now we've got our other cookie dough to deal with. And we are gonna mix in some sprinkles. Put that to the side. Oh goodness. Okay, so got some sprinkles and look at them. They're fun yellow sprinkles. Ben picked them out. But these sprinkles have some of those really big balls in them, and I don't want those. So I'm just going to take out the giant big one, and he gets to eat it. I don't want that going in our cookies. Okay, so I've got to mix. I'm just doing a small scoop of each type of sprinkle. Nope, no more. Doing some plain white sugar crystals. Some silver. And I even have uh, some of these little rock candies. Honestly, this would be like really cute for like a, like a pink lemonade sort of cake or something. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna, just like we did with the walnuts, we're gonna fold that into our cookie dough. Okay, so I think that is pretty well combined. But you know what guys? I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned something about Nutella. I love Nutella. So does Ben who is not here right now. I'm gonna get it, I will be right back. Okay, so, like an hour or two or whatever ago, I scooped some teaspoonfuls of Nutella um, onto parchment paper and I put it in the freezer. It really just needs to be in there for like 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, you want it firm enough because we're gonna stuff it into these cookies and that would be a huge mess otherwise. So, I'm just setting those aside. Mix and out, mix and out, mix and out, mix and out. Okay, well, there we go. Got my handy scoop. Now, this time I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm not just gonna scoop and plop. This is probably gonna be a little bit messy, but I'm gonna scoop it into my hand and kind of flatten the dough out of it. And I'm gonna put piece of Nutella in the center and cover it back up, okay? And reform into a ball and place. My hands are super gross. <laughs> you wanna do this one? Okay, you gotta be very careful because it's very sticky. Okay, so I only have one more plop of Nutella. Oh, ooh, and missing now is gonna help that again. But I think I'm gonna be able to get more than one more cookie, okay. All right, last plop. I didn't know how many we were gonna make, so I just, I only made three plops. Let's, I'll give it back to you to roll. Okay, give that a roll. Very, very gently. There you go. Perfect. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna wash your hands soon. So try not to touch anything. No, 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 no. Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see if we can clean that. But okay, so I've got this dough. I've got the leftovers of that first flavor we did. I'm gonna combine the two because. Yeah, 
Yeah. Waste not, want not, right? Okay, so we've got a little bit left. I think we'll get one more cookie out of this. Hold on. And instead of using the scoop, I'm scooping the dough into the scoop more to get a cookie shape than to actually fill it. And now, just like we did with the last flavor, we're gonna decorate. Okay, so we're gonna put these into the freezer and we're actually gonna freeze them overnight. We might end up making one today. We'll see. Okay. Okay guys, I've had the cookie dough balls in the freezer now for several weeks. I've been snacking on them because I can't resist a delicious cookie. Neither can my husband neither can then. So, before they're all gone, I wanted to show you what one of these bad boys looks like. Let's check it out. Look at that. Big, thick cookie. I think that we should break it open and check it out. I just wish I had a little helper around that could help me out. Hey, um, I was just, um, I don't know what I was doing. I was just taking out some rice. Okay, well, Ben's here now, so he is going to help me out with this cookie. So let's go ahead. Okay, so since they're frozen, we bake it at a lower temperature, so at 325, and I have found that 22 minutes is like the sweet spot. You yeah, got this. I agree. I'm just going to do my sign. <laughs> Really, I don't really know if this is not a meat thing. So, so it's nice and thick and gooey. Now let's go ahead and crack it open. I just wonder what it tastes oh. like. Hi. I said hi. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look I, at that. Wow, that looks tiny. Smell it. Okay. Mm. That's so good. good. Alright, Ben, do you want a piece? Yes. I will take a small one. But okay. that's really big. There you go. I'm gonna have a piece too. It's a little bit messy. Mm. What's that mean? It means I love it. Mmm. So delicious. Ooey gooey, chewy, thick, amazing. You got the toasted walnuts, add a nice crunch, delicious flavor. It's loaded with chocolate. Yeah, I love the chocolate taste. I think that I love chocolate and I think it's good. Now, we did stuff some with uh, Nutella. That was delicious. Kind of meant to do that one for the video, but I ate them all. So. Uh, big mistake. He helped eat them. It's not like I ate them by myself. Well, I love Nutella. And now we have, I think, no more money. Nutella. I think we do need some more Nutella now. Okay. Yeah, we got, we have zero. Okay, so I want you to try these. Try freezing them and just taking them out one ball at a time so you get a fresh hot cookie every night. Tell me what you think about it. And if you have any other favorite cookie flavor ideas, drop those in the comments too. Yeah, and make sure you give a like because we have the best fails. And if you want to see my channel, it has the best um, fails in the world. Marlo keep posting Mo. I will. So Ben has his own channel. If you're a kid or if you have a kid, you can check that out. I'll post the link below. And if you did like this video, go ahead and give us a like. Yeah. Subscribe so you can see more of our videos. And thank you so much for joining us and baking with us today. And by the way, actually I did not check out what, by the way. I, and did you like the poop thing I did when I jumped? <laughs> I think they liked it. I okay. think that was really cool. Yeah, I think that was the coolest part of this um, show. I think it's going to be on Bates and Bendos. Yes. So Ben was really excited to jump out for you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, 
leave a comment below and tell Ben that you liked it because that would make him very happy. Yeah, and I love people saying that they love me. I love it so much. <laughs> and I love B.O. Chains. Okay, and guys. And B.O. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Don't forget me in the videos at all. <laughs>